What's going on beautiful people? I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today, we have the pleasure of having my man Timonade, his Level Up Super 501. Guys, this beast is another level. I really want to take down the time to show you guys a step-by-step -step that's going to help you get the long lifespan of this technology and not that the best performance out of it. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys the process. All right, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you the tools you're going to need for the process. Obviously, you're going to need an ISO marine grade pump. I'm gonna be sharing the links for everything that I'm gonna be mentioning, so no worries. Um, you're gonna need to create a tool. It's a dividing tool. I'll show you where to do that. And also, this is a flex pipe replacement. It replaces your flex pipe, that way you can hook it up to the pump. And then you're gonna need the CPU cartridge that came with your unit, and if you lost it, it's the circle one. It doesn't have the grooves. Here I have some cleaning tools, some pipe cleaners, some brushes, a measuring cup, and some gloves for safety, and this bucket as well. Remember guys, 90% of waters across the US are hard waters, so I highly suggest everyone to use CLR. It is safe, it's good for the environment, it's non-toxic, and then you mix it with the citric acid. And I'm gonna show you guys all the different measurements and steps that you need for that as well. And last, you're gonna need the testing tools, obviously an ORP, pH drops, some chlorine drops, and a rag. Now I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps that you need to take. You need to prepare your pump. So get some water, get your bucket, you can use tap water, filtered water, clean water, whatever water you want to get. You fill it up to the line right here. Second, you want to get your CLR. You're gonna get a full cup of CLR. And once you dump the CLR into the mix, you're gonna now need citric acid. So wash this off. You can get a rag and dry it out. and get about a cup into the mix. Plug it up to the wall. And now your pump is ready to go. Get your piece that comes with your pump. It's a quick connect. Has a male piece and a female here. And connect it to your pump like so and here is where this tool that I made comes in handy so it's basically male pieces and a female T so this one just has three pieces right here so what you get get this end and put it like that and now you have a T the pump is ready we need to prepare the machine so open up this tray, take off your filter to the left, lock in mechanism, pull your filter out, make sure you have the gaskets in the filter, set it to the side, get a rag, always keep a rag with you, clean around there, now you get your CPU that came with your machine, put it in there, get the locking mechanism and lock it into place to the right. Now it's locked and something that is real crucial, this machine does not have a diverter, it's always connected to the water. 
the way it turns on is when you press the button and that turns it on and engages the water right away. You really want to unplug your machine so we can do this process the safest. Plug it up, unplug it. Now it's off. Since this unit, it's basically two machines, you need to access both acidic hose for both sides. The side that makes the acidic water and the side that makes the drinking 9.5 and the other waters. So you get these leaves that comes on to the hoses and you wanna take them off. Like that, set them to the side, do the same thing to the other one. Kinda like wiggle them, put that one to the side. And now you have both acidic hose. This is for the acidic side and this is for the alkaline side. Get your rag, dry it up a little bit. And what you wanna do is attach it to each side of the connector that we made. Push it in, same way here. Push it in. Once you have them in, now you're ready to turn on your pump. But before you do that, you wanna direct the flexible pipes into the mix like that. And now it would be a safe idea to put your tray into the pump. And put both flexible pipes in. And you can move the pump so they, wait, they can be submerged even more. And I always put it like this so it can be inside on top of the bucket now the machine is ready to go you have your cpu in check your machine is really ready you can take a uh, the brush and stir the water so you can stir that citric acid make sure it dissolves Then close it. And now you can start the process. This process, I want you guys to go about four to five hours with the split connector. You turn it on and then you turn on your valve. Like that. And once you see that, you can turn, you can open this and see that you have both sides engaged. So now the pressure is going through both acidic hose at the same time and it's cleaning both chambers. The seven plate chamber for the acidic line and the five plate chamber for the drinking waters. That's what it's doing right now. All right, now for the next step, you wanna reverse the cycle. In this, I only have one hose, so I only can do one at a time. You wanna stop your pump, you wanna turn off the valve, and you wanna eliminate the pump. So you do that, open the tray, put that inside, and take these off. So eliminate that. And you can just dump them inside the, the tray like that. And now it doesn't matter what side you pick. Get this side, twist it off. And now with this hose that I made for the flex pipe, it screws on the same way. That's it. Get your quick connector for the pump. Clean out the tip and hook it up to the flex pipe. Once you have it tight, so if you don't have space, you can leave it open. If you can close it, you can close it. 
Now, turn on the pump. Turn on the valve. And now you're cleaning the acidic side. So you basically reverse all the cycle and you're gonna clean it. And I suggest to do at least an hour for each side. That way you're cleaning it reverse way, but into each side. Individually, you're getting all the pressure, everything you're engaging the other side of the plate. So it's very crucial to do this step. All right, guys. So for this step, make sure to have your gloves on. <laughs> Get your pipe cleaner, clean off the pipe that you took off before we go to the next side and then clean the other side. I don't have a long one, so this one reaches halfway. So I do that, clean off the tip. Then you can stop the pump, turn off the valve and open the tray. Unhook the quick connect, put it into the bucket, take it off from the flex pipe and if you can clean off the tip of that flex pipe put the flex pipe back put it towards the bucket now take off the the other flex pipe put it to the side and get that the piece we created put it into the next side then you get the quick connect dry it off a little bit and hook it up to the other end put everything back to the side and now turn on the pump turn on the flow And now it's reversing the cycle. So we're gonna do the same process for this side. And that's for the five plates that use the Kangen water, clean and beauty water side. Now, repeat the same process before you shut it off. And remember, both process, it's an hour a piece, minimum. So you do an hour and then an hour. So once this hour is done, get your flex pipe cleaner and then Clean the first half, turn it around, and clean this other half. Put it to the side, get your rag, clean it off, and then turn off the pump, turn off the flow, the valve, access the door, unplug it from the quick connect, put it inside, and now you eliminate this piece. Take it off, put it to the side, you do the same thing, clean it off with a rag, the inside of the tip. Now get the hose and install it back. This is an extra feature that I would love for everybody to do just to make sure you're running another cycle. You choose both sides, you gotta do it to both sides, minimum one hour. You get the acidic hose, the acidic hose, Take off that piece we put on, that melt piece for the splitter. And now get the quick connect, dry it off. And now you engage the acidic side through the acid part. Make sure it's on all the way. Turn on the pump and close the door. And now turn on the valve. And now, you're doing the same cycle we started with, but individually. So now you're having all that built up that we scraped from the five hours and the hour each from the reverse cycle. And now you're doing it back to kind of clean off any residue or any mildew or any buildup in the actual lines. So that's why I like doing it individually. So use this method, the acidic hose, and you're gonna clean it that way and then do the acidic hose of the clean and drinking waters as well. All right guys, so now you already had it cycle for an hour and we're gonna do the same thing for the other hose and this is the last step. Stop your pump, turn off the valve, open the door, 
unhook the quick connect, put the quick connect inside, and now do the same thing for the other line. Put this one here too, dry this out, take off the other piece, dry it out again, get the quick connect, dry it out as well, and now you connect it right here, like that. So you have it hooked up, close this door, turn on your pump now, and this you're gonna do it for an hour as well. And then the valve. And now you're gonna let it cycle in for about an hour, and I'll see you guys into the last step to show you guys how to put everything back together. All right guys, now the machine is finished the process, it's been an hour, you wanna stop your pump, and now we're gonna get everything ready for the flush because this is really crucial once you use CLR, anything like that, you wanna flush it for the right time and that way you can make sure all the CLR is off your machine and whenever you put that new filter, you have a brand new machine. All right, take off the quick connect and now you can just put it into the sink, get your door open it put the quick connect in there get the other line of acidity into the sink and these flex pipes make them facing the sink like that and you can move the pump to the side you're gonna flush each side from a water source before you turn off the machine because this machine you cannot use the main entrance is already plugged to water. Water is already running. So you have to flush it the same way we wash it. Get your diverter, get your hose. I use this quick connect from my pump. I just hook it up to the quick connect side. And now I have the melt piece that I can clean with. So what I do, I use the same T, the same splitter, put the connectors in there, and then I hook both sides up. Hook that side, and then the other side. All right, like that. And now you get the water source and you hook it up to, to the T. So this acts like if it was a pump. Now you wanna turn on the water and you wanna divert it. Now the machine is gonna flush. And since we've been using both sides and everything, I always suggest about 45 minutes, but we can go ahead for a full hour, let it flush, and then you can do five minutes each side individually just to make sure everything is flushing the right way. You can even flush the flexible pipe side as well for another five minutes. So if you like me, I would do this flush and then I'll show you how to do the last two flushes for five minutes each. All right guys, the machine has been flushing for an hour now. You wanna go ahead and stop the water and go to the quick connect, unhook it, pull that back, and then you can just unhook each acidic line. And now you can go ahead and clean each side for five minutes. Now we're just cleaning the Kangen water side. So it's coming in from the acidic hose and coming out directly there. We're gonna do five minutes each to each side. All right guys, so it's been five minutes. We're gonna do the other side. Stop the water. You can unhook it from the quick connect. Let the acid hose and get the other acid hose and hook it up and then turn it on. And now we're flushing the chamber of the hypochloric acid water, the 2.5 and the 11.5. And you're gonna do it for five minutes too. All right guys, so it's been five minutes. You wanna shut off the water. And this is the one that I said that's extra. If you don't wanna do it, you don't have to, but I, I always like to do it. So I get the flex pipe that I created and I will flush it out from there as well. Do that, get the quick connect, and just hook it up. 
And now the water is coming out from the bottom and you let it cycle for five minutes. And we're gonna do the other side as well. All right guys, so it's been five minutes doing the cycle for the first flex pipe. You wanna shut it off. You wanna unhook it from the quick connect and then unplug it from here. You plug this one back up. Unhook this one up. And then you hook this one into the other side. Get your quick connect. Hook it up. And now you're cleaning the other acidic line. So you're doing the reverse flushing. That's what I call it. Do that for five minutes too. All right guys, so it's been about five minutes doing the last flush. You want to stop the water, unhook the quick connect, and unplug the hose. Put that to the side. Put back the flex pipe. If it's dirty, you can clean it up. All right guys, so now plug up your machine and still with the cartridge in here, I'm not gonna use it with a filter because it needs a new filter. I don't have it right now. So what we're gonna do is make sure the Kangen water is coming out good. And with the super, if you wanna regulate the flow, you would have to do it in the main. So I suggest it. I like to regulate the flow, especially for the testing to make sure the machine is operating in peak performance. And I'll run it through all the different waters. And now I'm gonna put it in the strong acidic water. You notice it stopped from here and now it's gonna start coming out of here. This is where the 11.5 comes out and this is where the 2.5 comes out. So it's backward from the SD501. We're gonna test these waters. So this is the 11.5 and that's the 2.5. Let's put it in the acidic water. I got my testing tools, my ORP, which is number one tool I like to test my water with. Put that to the side, turn it on. And as you guys can see, this is the 2.5. You see how it's rising? This will go up to 1,000, 11, it's still climbing. And if we go to the 11.5, it's negative. 876 which is almost 900 that's awesome guys so that is the power of the super is that you're able to create that water because now you have the factor of making your own saline solution you can just buy the salt bags for five dollars and you create your own saline solution which is an amazing factor and you can produce buckets if you're a grower if you're a restaurant if you need to clean the veggies the fruit the meat whatever you're doing you actually can utilize this machine and it will help you and it will save you money in the future all right guys we're gonna test the 9.5 and the acidic water so that's the 9.5 and here is the beauty water as you guys can see it's negative 600 and that's only five plates guys and then here that's about 400 that's the skin toner so it's testing out awesome in the antioxidants you can get the the pH check out the pH of the 9.5 pH of the beauty water and then you can check out the pH of the 11.5 check that out and then check out the chlorine levels well it's not chlorine it's how it acts like chlorine because of the hypochloric acid 
it will kill all the bacteria just like chlorine and it's water you can create from your machine so it saves you money at the end of the day and that's why it's so important and you're not putting all those chemicals back into people's food or anything like that so it's actually going green and helping the planet guys that's why i love explaining the foundation core of maintenance on all the type of techniques you need to do to have the long lifespan of your machine and actually enjoy it and get the proper benefit from it as well all right guys so that was it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it and got a lot of value out of it i really enjoy what i do and if you guys have any questions or feedbacks be more than free to leave them in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer those and until the next one guys stay safe may god bless peace